with Oscar Robertson and the Bucks. Then he won his last five with the Lakers. And he's also part of the Showtime Lakers with Magic Johnson and James Worthy. And he had an incredible career point record, 38K points, until his record got surpassed last year. And he also created the famous skyhook off the three-point line. He was, excuse me, it was either him or Will Chamberlain. Skyhooks off the three-point line, how amazing is that? Now it's time for my top three. Three, two, and one. Many of you guys are going to complain that I should not have these. Well, y'all may get mad on who's in my top three, but basically I don't give a damn. This is my top three. If you have a top three of your NBA players, just put it in the comments. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. Coming in at number three, I have. The king himself, LeBron Raymond James Sr. Yeah. Four-time champion, four-time finals MVP, four-time league MVP, 2004 rookie of the year, 2008 scoring champion, 2020 assist leader, 20-time all-star, 40K plus points, and he's still going. And I know people are going to say, X, why you have LeBron at number three? LeBron's the GOAT. LeBron's the GOAT. Uh, no, he's not. I may be a LeBron fan, but do I think he's the GOAT? Hell no. Don't get me wrong. LeBron is an incredible player. His longevity definitely needs to be studied. He is still playing right now as we speak. But come on, LeBron is not the GOAT, ladies and gentlemen. He's a top five and not top three player. He came out of high school and he scored 25 points his very first game. He had 25 points, six rebounds, and nine assists. And I don't know what else to say about LeBron. And I mean, LeBron's a great player, but I don't have him in number one. I don't even have him in number two. I have him at number three on my personal list. I was this close to putting him at number five or number six. When I was making this list, I was going to put Kareem at three, Bill at four, Magic at five, and LeBron at six. But I decided to keep it Bill at six, Magic five, Kareem four, LeBron three. I have LeBron over Kareem because he surpassed the age that Kareem retired, 38. LeBron will be 40 years old in the next two months. That is amazing. That is amazing somebody has surpassed the age, surpassed 38 years old, still playing in the league. And the reason why I can't put him in number two is because he's trying to tie with the same amount of championships as the next player that I have above him. When he does that, then I'll put him in number two. But for now, he's staying where he's at on my list at number three. I know a lot of other LeBron fans might get mad, but at least I got y'all boy at, in the top three. He's my number three. Because my number two, I have the Black Mamba, Kobe Bean Bryant. And yes, I have Kobe over LeBron. I don't give a damn what y'all say. There's nothing you could do to consider me to reconsider or change my mind. La, 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 la. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. First things first, rest in peace to Kobe, to his lovely daughter Gigi, and those seven pastors that died in that horrific helicopter crash. Kobe is definitely a top three shooting guard of all time. From his three-pointers to his clutch ability to his Mamba mentality. Uh, my favorite part of his career, which was the Kobe Shaq era, where they won three out of four championships. All the controversy that he dealt when he still went in every single night and put up points. And he had the second highest scoring points, 81, right behind Will Chamberlain's 100 scoring points. Kobe's a five-time champion. Two-time Finals MVP, 2008 League MVP, 18-time All-Star, 9-time All-Defensive Team. I have Kobe at number two because people used to disrespect the hell out of him. They say that he's not a top five player. They would put him in like number 12 or something back when he was alive. 
And now that he's gone, they quickly want to squeeze him into their top five, which makes absolutely no sense to me. How can you say Kobe is not a top five player, then all of a sudden after his demise, you want to put him in your top five already? He's always been my number two player way before he died. He's always been my number two player. He's always been in my top five, most likely my top three. I mean, you have to put Kobe in your top five or top three. Because if you don't, then you probably don't know shit about basketball. If you're questioning why Kobe is my number two, rewind back everything that I just said and you have your answer. And now it's time to reveal my number one NBA player. And if you know me very well, you also know who my number one NBA player is. Mike Henry knows, Benny G94 knows, Black Scion knows, Juggalo Jigsaw Reaction knows. My number one NBA player is without a shadow of a doubt, his airness himself, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael, I take it personal, Jordan. I mean, come on. Six-time champion, six-time finals MVP, five-time league MVP, nine-time all-defensive team, 1985 rookie of the year, 14-time all-star, 10-time scoring champion, never lost in the finals, never went to a game seven. That enough certifies why he's not only the greatest shooting guard, the greatest NBA player of the 1990s, but the greatest player of all time. I'm not going to spend more time talking about this because it's indisputable why he's number one on my list and the greatest player of all time in my personal opinion. If it wasn't for my dad, I would have never been a fan of the Bulls during that 70-year run when they won those six titles, and Michael Jordan would have never been number one on my list. My number one would have been Kobe or LeBron, but... MJ is my number one GOAT, always has been and always will be. But that concludes my top 25 NBA players. If you agree or disagree with anything that I said, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. You could put your top 10. You don't have to put 25 because I feel like that's too much. You could put your top 10 players or maybe your top five. Who would be your number one? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for my next list. I think the next list I need to reveal is my top 10 Disney Channel shows list. And all my other lists are coming before the end of this month. But until then, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk.